River flooding happens when a river cannot hold all of the water draining into it from surrounding land. This is more likely to happen when the ground in the area is already saturated. When we think of rivers in London, we usually think of the River Thames, but there are many other rivers and tributaries crisscrossing Greater London. Some of the rivers that once flowed through the capital are now under the streets that you walk on, but you can still see a lot of them on the surface in parks or town centres, such as the River Lee on Hackney Marshes, and the Hogs Mill in Kingston. Flooding from the Thames can affect large areas, as we saw in the winter of 2013-14, but this occurs over a number of days, giving time for people to receive warnings and prepare. These other rivers are smaller than the Thames, often flowing through very urbanised areas. This means they can flood very quickly from intense and heavy rain. Flooding like this often happens, alongside flooding from other sources, like sewers and flooding on the roads. Whilst many organisations manage the risk of flooding and in some places reduce it, it cannot be removed completely. So what can we do? There are some simple first steps you can take to be prepared for flooding. Check if you live or work in an area at risk from flooding. Go to gov.uk check for flooding. Sign up for free flood alert and warnings from the Environment Agency. They cover most areas at risk of flooding in London from the rivers and tidal Thames. Go to gov.uk, sign up for flood warnings. Register to receive warnings of heavy rain from the Met Office or download their app to make sure you are aware of the possibility of surface water flooding. Think about how you or your family could stay safe in a flood or protect the things that are important to you. Could you prepare a bag to keep safe in a cupboard with some essentials you might need in case you need to leave your house? You can download a simple flood plan to fill in at gov.uk slash flood. This could be especially helpful for those who may be vulnerable or live in properties that could have access issues, such as basements. Check that your insurance covers you for flooding. Don't leave it too late, you could put yourself and others at risk.